What is the purpose of adding butter to melted chocolate? Hello and welcome to a mouth-watering exploration of chocolate. We'll be focusing on a simple yet important question. Why do we add butter to melted chocolate? But before we dive into the deep end, let's explore some basics about chocolate. What is chocolate made of? At its core, chocolate is made from cacao beans. These are ground into cocoa mass, which is a combination of cocoa solids and cocoa butter. These two components bring the flavor and the melt-in-your-mouth sensation respectively. Sugar is added to this mix for sweetness, making it the chocolate we all know and love. What does butter do to chocolate? Now that we understand what chocolate is, let's get to the crux of the matter. Adding butter to chocolate primarily does two things, enhances the flavor and improves the texture. Butter contains fat, and fat carries flavor. In this case, it enhances the flavors of the chocolate, making it taste even better than it would on its own. In terms of texture, adding butter to chocolate makes it silkier and easier to work with. The extra fat helps the chocolate flow better, making it perfect for drizzling on desserts, dipping fruits, or making ganache. Is it necessary to add butter? While it's not absolutely necessary to add butter to melted chocolate, it's often done to improve the end result. That being said, you need to add it carefully. If you add too much butter, the chocolate might become too soft or not set properly. It's also crucial to remember that not all recipes call for butter. For instance, if you're making a chocolate shell for ice cream, you would want the chocolate to harden quickly and completely, so you typically avoid adding any butter. So, next time you're melting chocolate and reach for that stick of butter, you'll know exactly what it's doing to your dessert, making it tastier and giving it a luscious, smooth texture. We hope you enjoyed this delicious dive into the science of chocolate. Stay curious and keep cooking!